like back just up. to have so many, what's it like just to have so many veterans on this defense going into this year? Uh, it feels good. You know, all of us know every position, not just our position. So we know why we run plays in certain situations. So that's probably why. How different does this spring feel now that you have a lot of players? It feels good. You know, we're out there just playing fast. Like, I'm not out there thinking because I already know the whole defense. Just out there playing fast and uh, trying to make other people better. Specifically the corners that you guys have. Denzel, Davison, even Jermaine coming in. Like, you guys already had the number one pass defense last year. I mean, what's the ceiling like coming off of it? Uh, you know, we just got to make more plays in the back end. Uh, I feel like. I could get more interceptions, uh, more more forced fumbles. So just ball disruptions and making more turnovers. That's our main goal. Yeah, getting both is the goal. You know, we just want to make turnovers and just get those highlights for real. So that's the main focus right now. Yeah, it's kind of weird. You know, when I first came here, it was just more uh, our secondary was so young. And then uh, Stone Six, they had like Chris and Garrett and stuff like that. So now just seeing it flip is kind of crazy. You know, we came a long way just to change the whole narrative on uh, the school. Yeah, for sure. You, you know, you got to come here and prove yourself. Uh, we got some really uh, talented young dudes out there. They're making names for themselves right now, so it's good. Jordan, what specifically do you want to get better at this year? I know the team goals exist, but what do you want to get better at? Uh, I want to just get better at just making, getting more interceptions. I feel like I can, I'm capable of getting five plus interceptions this year. Uh, I got my hands on a couple balls last year, so I feel like just getting more interceptions. Huh. Oh yeah, we're we're really close. His brother went to my school. Uh, me and his brother are probably like best friends, and I've known Caleb since he was like six. We grew up in the same park, like we played football in the same park. So uh, real close family friends. We're family friends for sure. I'm two years older than him. Mm. Did you have a discussion with him before you decided to come here? Yeah, I, I, had, a, I had a discussion <laughs> with him, so yeah. How old was your, how old was your, your pitch? Uh, you know, Caleb, he's so smart, you can't even persuade him. So, like, uh, I wasn't even talking to him about recruiting. It was just, you know, just keeping that connection, just keep on talking, because I knew at the end of the day he was going to make the right decision. So, yeah. He's a huge difference maker. He's always had those like lights on him since he was a little kid so like this is nothing new to him right now so uh in fall camps you're gonna show everyone that he's really like he's really like that and uh make a name for himself again if people just didn't uh remember uh right now i really don't know it's so far away from the season you know i can play everywhere so it's just that's how they can use me at safety, they can use me at corner, they can use me at nickel. So really anywhere, I play anywhere that coach wants me to play out. Uh, just a brotherhood, you know, every, everyone was coming back. So I'm like, dang, what, what do I look like just going going and leaving? But I just want to leave out of here to the national championship. And uh, we just left so much behind. I feel like our class came in one of the best class to ever come through Ohio State, and we need to leave out of here with something. So that's why, that's why I came back. When did you know that you were going to come back? Uh, I kind of knew just after the bowl game I was I was going to come back because just seeing everyone and kind of before the bowl game we all had a discussion and we just want to come back and finish with our end goal of the national championship. Individual decision, but it's also a group decision.
Yeah, it was a group decision. You know, we had individual decisions, but we had to leave out of here with something, you know, so uh, I feel like this is the year we, we finally put it all together. Uh, it, was, it was both. It was both. So we had a conversation and then uh, texting. Huh? Nah, we just, we, just had a, we just had a conversation for uh Uh, yeah, it definitely made me a better nickel. Just learning from Sonny put me on with a lot of game and stuff like that. Uh, just I really had to flip my um, mindset from just playing corner and then just playing nickel. But now I just want to be the best nickel in the country. So that's that's kind of my mindset right now. And yeah. What is from a mindset standpoint? What is the biggest difference? With a lot of run fits, you got to be in the run fits. Uh, you're guarding quicker, quicker receivers in that slot, so that's kind of the whole. It's a two different techniques from outside and inside. So I've been really working on it. If you see last year, I got a lot more comfortable in the slot when uh, I was kind of like the main slot. When I kind of focused on it, and it just my game elevated from there. I just keep on elevating, and I'm just excited for this season. What's the specific work you've been doing there to get better? Uh, just catch technique. Uh, just not giving as much. Uh, ground at the line of scrimmage and stuff like that. So, yeah. With your vantage point, what's it been like to see Sonny the second level now? Oh, yeah, yeah, he's a dog out there. Like, you can see there's a huge transformation with him. We can go out there and play dime. It just gives us so much versatility. I'm just happy he made the uh, uh, change. No momentum to with you. What kind of growth do you see from him? Yeah, he's growing a lot. You know, he's always in the film room. He's always going to go hard. So he's going to be a great ball player down the road. Oh, no, I, I never really had to get used to it. You know, most people at corner, they can't go play inside, but I just like I like hitting. Like, it's just something about it. So really just that. It was just a natural transition. Mm -hmm. It is pretty crazy, right? I mean, when you're playing in there, you have to be physical enough to play the run, but then you have to be quick enough to play all these little right. quick slot receivers. Yeah, it's it's, cra it's crazy, but it's that's why I feel like it's the most fun position on the field. So at a game gain a little bit more weight in this off season to bring more power into the because I got to take offensive guards and tight ends every time so yeah I had, I had to gain some weight and I I feel like I've gotten a lot stronger right yes sir yes sir yes sir yep uh probably I fully embraced it. it. Was like Wisconsin week, you know. I had, I played a lot of. I was going like splitting reps and all that. But then uh, Lathan he got injured, and so that moved Sonny to strong safety. So I, I had no choice, and really it was. I'm just really happy to play that position. Like I'm thankful for it. Yeah, I forced a fumble. I had a lot of production that week. Somehow it was like a night game. I just wanted to make make plays out there. So yeah. Jim said that you really stepped up. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was crazy. Uh I think that whole October just from October to to uh till November, like that I mean I had a really crazy stretch, like almost every game in October I had an interception. Well I just kinda dropped one against Michigan State, but I feel like every game in October, November I yeah, that's when I excelled out of position. Oh yeah, if I didn't have Coach Walt, like I don't know if I could make that position switch. There's just so much cerebral things you have to know at the position. So Coach Walt, he got an NFL background and he knows every single uh, unit, D-line. So I had to learn the D-line, linebackers, because sometimes 
I do the same thing what Steel Chambers was doing last year in the same position. So uh, if I didn't have Coach Wall, I don't know how I'll transition. That like, the scenes work, that, like, sometimes I assume you're like, I don't know this because I'm not playing pickle. Like, how much work goes behind the scenes when you go watch the film talk about Yeah, people don't see it. We in here at 6.30. Like, Coach Wall, he comes to the building at, like, 5 a.m. So I were only here at, like, 6.30, watch film with him. Uh, after practice, meeting, watching film, and just walkthroughs, and you know, it wasn't it wasn't easy at first, but uh, he got on me, stayed on me a lot, held me accountable, and just I'm I'm thankful for that. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be good. You know, he's a real good football player. He can hit, he can cover, so it's gonna be good having him back. Yeah, he's going to be a good, good fit for us. You know, he he played a lot of ball. Like, started he started games his sophomore year, so uh, it was crazy, to, good to have him back, and I'm just happy to have him back. Who's next? Like for slot? No. True. I think Miles. He, you know, he, you know, he's undersized, but I feel like he just brings it. Like he's got the mentality to play it, and he really likes love the game. He really studies hard, and I feel like he's gonna he's gonna be up next for the nickel spot. Aaron's good. He, he's competing real hard. Uh, he's running to the ball. He's learning. He's getting better every single snap. He's getting better. So that's what I've seen from him. Yeah. It's, it's crazy, you know, coming in, it was just, I don't even know how to explain it, but our room is so talented right now. Like any anybody can go out there, even our twos and threes can go out there and start anywhere else in the country. So. Uh, it, from top down, it's, it's super talented. We got young dudes like Aaron, uh, Miles, and Bryce. So they're going to go out there, ball in a couple of years, and I'm excited for their future and potential. Uh, <laughs> they were talking about it a little bit, but not for real. They just really want to learn from us. They're super smart kids, and they just, they're just real eager to learn. So, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be wild because right now um, they're gonna be they're gonna be ready. Coach Walt stays on them. Me, Denzel, we stay on them. Uh, Dave stays on them. So they have no choice but to carry on the tradition. I feel like they're gonna do it real with Miles, Bryce, and Aaron. They're gonna they're gonna hold up tra the BIA transition for sure. Hey Jordan, is it too early to assess the uh, for you to assess the uh, slot receivers? If, uh, the for you to assess the Ohio State slot receivers that you're putting. Oh, I played them last year. I went up against them last year. They're all good. Bryson, uh, Brandon, and Keon plays a little bit in the slot. And yeah, they're they're going to be real good. Uh, there's going to be, I mean, Mech, Mech too, of course, of course, Mech. We know what Mech does. So one of the best slots in the country. So um, this is going to be fine. Even when Mech leaves, there's going to be no drop off. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Appreciate you.